Hello friends, this video on acids, bases and salts part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now see what are acids. Now the word acid is derived from a Latin word called acid which means sour. Now does that imply that acids are those substances which are sour in taste? Well, to some extent. So these acids, they taste sour. So let's take some examples which we have already tasted. Like lemons and oranges, we all would have tasted it and we all know that they are sour in taste. And they are acidic because they contain an acid called the citric acid. Let's take another example, vinegar. So we all would have tasted vinegar, if not uh, raw vinegar, but at least in uh, some food items like chow mein or manchurian. So these kind of food items, they use vinegar. So vinegar is again sour in taste and vinegar contains an acid called acetic acid. Let's take yet another example. So let's take one very common example. Our body, what is it made up of? What is our body made up of? Our body contains a lot of proteins, right? And what are proteins made up of? Proteins are made up of amino acids. So what is it? Acid again. So proteins are also made up of acids. So you see, proteins, they play such an important role. They help to in the construction of our entire body and they are also made up of some acids. So these proteins they also contain the amino acids. Think of the process of digestion. So in one of our previous lessons we spoke about the process of uh, digestion. How do the food that we eat get broken down into simpler forms and then absorbed by our body to provide us energy. So during this process of digestion, do you remember what happens in the stomach? The stomach contains hydrochloric acid. HCl and this hydrochloric acid plays a very important role in the stomach because due to this acidic medium the enzyme pepsin becomes active and pepsin helps in the digestion of proteins in the stomach. So HCl plays a very important role in the stomach. So here also you see acids are there. So even inside our body also we see so many acids present here and there. Now when the concentration of this HCl increases in the stomach, that is when we suffer from acidity. So, so that's, the, that's how the, the problem of acidity comes up. So you take example of spinach. Spinach also contains an acid called the oxalic acid. You take example of curd which is consumed by us very frequently and curd is actually prepared from milk. So this curd also contains an acid called the lactic acid. So all these common substances contain so much of acids. So yes, it is really important to know what are acids. Now, the, I would not say that the correct way of defining acid is that is by its taste because it is not possible to taste all types of acids because some acids might be extremely harmful being consumed. So therefore, we cannot consume it. Now, if the only way we are defining acid is by their taste, then we will not be able to find out a lot of acids. So this is basically one characteristic of acids that they are sour in taste. But yes, there are other properties of acids which we are going to discuss now uh, by which we can actually distinguish which is an acid and which is a base. So let's see what are bases. So these are the substances which are mostly bitter in taste. So let's look at a few examples. Now, not only bitter, they, all, they are also kind of soapy in touch. So I'm sure you would have understood some of the examples like the soap itself. Soap is definitely going to be soapy in touch. So it is like when you put soap in, on your palms, what happens? It, it is like kind of slippery. It's like kind of slimy. So that kind of touch is uh, referred to when we say soapy in touch. So some other examples are bleach. 
the washing soda or baking soda they are also bases so if you have ever got a chance to taste baking soda because i will not advise you to taste a soap or a bleach of course do not do that so we are actually going to talk about how to distinguish which is a base and which is an acid so there is absolutely no need to taste these substances the exam just now i gave you an example right that when the concentration of hydrochloric acid in the stomach increases that causes acidity and when you have acidity you feel pain in the stomach you feel uneasiness discomfort and how do you get rid of that with the help of antacid tablets so these antacid tablets they are actually basic in nature so when these ab tablets are consumed they reach the stomach and they reduce the acidity so now antacids are bases so bases and acids they are like just opposites so they neutralize the effect of each other so bases will neutralize or it will bring down the acidity of the stomach and that is how you feel better after taking the antacid tablets now these bases in the initial days they were also known as the alkaline so acids and alkaline were the terms which were used those days so alkaline is basically an arabic word which means ashes of the salt water salt water is nothing but a plant which mostly grows in the salt grow in the salt marshes so ashes of that plant was referred to as alkaline so that was the earlier name of uh, bases but later it was more commonly called as base so now the question is is it necessary that all substances have to be either acidic or basic can there be substances which are neither basic nor acidic yes of course there can be so these kind of substances which are neither basic nor acidic in nature they are said to be neutral so they are it, it's like they are neither positive nor negative so they are neutral so they are like uh, the common man so some of the examples of neutral substances are sugar salt water these are all examples of neutral substances so now in this lesson we are going to focus mostly on acids and bases and we are going to see how can we distinguish between an acid and a base how can we determine a particular substance is an acid or a base thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.